What's up? This is Dr. Taylor Crick at the Washington Wellness Center, and today's video is about stimulating the auricular branch of the vagus nerve. So I'm going to explain a little bit about that, but I'm going to talk about some studies and some research showing the benefits of doing this. So the vagus nerve, auricular means in the ear, okay, having to do with the ear. So let's get right into this. So what is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the 10th cranial nerve and it's arguably the most important nerve in your body. It's called the wandering nerve because it wanders throughout your whole body and innervates important organs like your heart, your lungs, your spleen, your entire digestive tract, your adrenals, your liver, um, all these important what's called autonomic organs are innervated by the vagus nerve. It's also known as the relaxation nerve because the vagus nerve is what's called a parasympathetic nerve, which means it's the opposite of a, the, a sympathetic nerve, which the sympathetics are your body's stress response. So, uh, let me fix this. So the vagus nerve exits from your brainstem and it wanders throughout the body. And, and probably the best example of, of, a, of vagus is the gut-brain connection. So this is a two-way connection. So the vagus nerve goes both ways. And about 20% of the vagus nerve fibers go to the gut. And about 20% of the vagus nerve fibers come from the gut. So the gut-brain connection is just a, a hugely important part and aspect of vagal um, innervation and vagal activity. But like I said, the vagus is kind of the opposite of your body's stress response. So when you have good vagal tone, which think of this as like good muscle tone or of good fitness, if you're completely unfit, that means one thing. And if you're very, very fit, that means another thing. And we all know what that means. The vagus nerve can have good tone or it can have bad tone, meaning how basically fit it is. Vagal tone is associated with decreased stress, increased lifespan, improved heart rate variability. Um, it's associated with health. It's associated with well-being. It's associated with empathy. And what I'm about to get into are some of the studies done on the ear showing some of those things. So it's just really, really cool what all it's associated with. And when you look at our epidemic of stress today and of stress-related chronic illnesses, it's no surprise that, that vagal tone is associated with all of these things because stress is negatively associated with these things. So vagal tone is negatively associated, meaning if you have a lack of vagal strength or fitness, it's associated with poor digestive function, heart disease, and even things like morbidity, mortality, depression, all these things that are epidemics today. And so the bottom line from this and what you're going to see from these studies is you want vagal tone. And so this is kind of like uh, stimulating the vagus nerve through the ear. It's kind of like if you remember um, like those ab belts that they used to sell that you'd just be sitting there watching TV and it's like stimulating your abs and you get a six pack while doing nothing. That's kind of like uh, stimulating the vagus nerve through the ear. You can be sitting there, you could be driving, you could be watching TV, you could be doing the dishes, you could be doing anything and be stimulating your vagus nerve the whole time. So this is really, really cool. So the outside of the ear is the only place on the body that the vagus travels on the outside of the body. So the outside of the ear, the only place, the auricular branch of the vagus nerve. And we have some other videos uh, of six ways to stimulate your vagus nerve because like deep breathing also stimulates the vagus nerve. Um, hot and cold showers actually stimulate the vagus nerve, which wasn't one of our, our six things. Uh, gargling stimulates the vagus nerve because it goes down the back of the throat. So there are different ways to stimulate the vagus nerve. This is the only way to stimulate it on the outside of the body here. So when you look at a, a diagram here, this shows you know, where, where the vagus innervates. So this black area is 100% innervated by the vagus nerve. Some of these other areas are partly innervated. So you could put your, your vagus nerve stimulator anywhere in this gray area. You can play around with it. One of the studies that we're going to look at in just a second is looking at this area called the tragus, which if you can see my ear, it's just this little, this little flap right here that kind of 
covers your ear hole. And what this shows is the vagus going both directions, coming from the heart, coming from the lungs, to the jugular ganglion, um, up to the brain and the brain stem, and the nucleus tractus solitarius, and the nucleus accumbens, and the dorsal motor nucleus, and these different areas of the brain stem of where these nerves come from and lead to. And this is a picture of different nerve stimulation that they've done in some studies of different places that they've put the uh, vagal nerve stimulation. This is a graphic of um, studies that have been done on auricular vagus nerve stimulation. And I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this. I want to get to the studies that I, I want to talk about. But these are, in black here are the clinical trials. In white are the reviews, meaning they've looked at uh, several studies and created a, a review of them or a meta-analysis. And these are the case studies. So in neurological disorders, there are 14 studies that this paper looked at. In inflammation, there are seven papers. In pain, there are 25 papers. In uh, psychometrics, so measurable uh, psychological function, there's 14. There are 19 in cardiovascular disorders and uh, seven in metabolic syndrome. And these papers are really, really cool. There's really cool research out there. Here's just an example of one that I, you know, was looking at today. I get distracted on some of these studies because they're so cool. But this is uh, for chronic migraine. And I, I forwarded this to a patient that has chronic migraine and said, hey, this is a study from the Journal of Headache and Pain. I think this could be worth a shot. And it's very, very low risk. And what these studies are showing is, is very, very promising. So we'll get into that here in a sec. Here's another one with, with headaches again. A review from the Journal of Pain Research. Um, and, you know, they've all, they all show positive results or positive potential outcomes here. So the paper that, that I want to focus on today is looking at people uh, over 55. Um, it, it's from December of 2019 from the journal Aging. Okay, and it looked at people over 55 and what it had them stimulate their vagus nerve every day for only like two weeks. And they, they did a few different trials in this, in this study. But for two weeks, they stimulated the vagus nerve with a TENS unit, which is what we use in our office, what we started selling and started providing to patients and what I've been using personally. So this is really cool. It used a TENS unit on this area called the tragus. And um, yeah, really, really cool stuff here. So let's look at what it showed. So TVNS, so... Um, transcutaneous vagal nerve stimulation significantly increased heart rate variability in over 55 year old participants. So that alone is really, really important. Heart rate variability is a marker of stress. It is a marker of fitness and it is also a marker of longevity. So the better your heart rate variability is, the longer you're expected to live, the less stress you have, the, um, the, this, the, the better your body's functioning. It also decreases with age, which is why they chose the over 55 group here. And what they showed was that their heart rate variability increased um, through this vagal nerve stimulation. So that, that alone is cool. Daily vagal nerve stimulation also improved quality of life and mood. So aspects of health-related quality of life and mood improved following two weeks, only two weeks of daily vagal nerve stimulation. Uh, the limitations due to physical health significantly decreased. So, so these patients or these uh, subjects in this trial that had limitations based on their physical health were decreased but between the beginning and the end of the trial. They saw them on visit one, then they had them do this every day for two weeks and saw them again on visit two. Additionally, there was a trend for energy scores to increase. So their energy increased. For their mood, their self-reported tension, depression, vigor, and mood disturbance all significantly improved. There was also a trend for self-reported confusion to be lower at visit two than at visit one. So pretty cool stuff that by just stimulating this vagus nerve for two weeks, all these markers of overall health and well-being were beginning to improve. The effects of quality of life, mood, and sleep, as well as conferring autonomic benefits like the heart rate variability, uh, this vagus nerve stimulation also appears to have positive effects on psychological health. So this was 
once or twice a day for 15 minutes um, or for two weeks. That was one study. And then another one was for one month. They did twice a day for 30 minutes. Their depression significantly reduced their depression scores. The patients who had depression, it significantly reduced their depression scores. Furthermore, administering it for four weeks significantly improved quality of life and depression scores in patients with persistent dizziness or postural perceptive dizziness or vertigo. So really, really cool. There's some really cool research on tinnitus, a ringing in the ears, cool research on, on migraines, like I mentioned, cool research on, on vertigo, um, and there's a lot of really cool stuff out there. Electrical stimulation of these, of these sites for 15 minutes a day for 14 days in patients with coronary artery disease. So coronary artery disease, uh, the number one uh, form of heart disease, which uh, used to be our number one killer. It just recently was surpassed by cancer. But coronary artery disease kills a lot of people in our country. And it decreased the need for vasodilator medication and it improved exercise tolerance. Really, really cool for people with heart disease. Also reduced atrial fibrillation and reduced plasma levels of something called TNF-alpha. And you don't know what TNF-alpha is probably, but in my world, TNF-alpha is everything. It is an inflammatory cytokine, which means that it is a measure of inflammation. And it's commonly elevated in autoimmune disease. It's commonly elevated in basically every chronic health condition that's inflammation-based that we see today. And this reduced TNF-alpha, which is associated uh, with chronic increases in inflammation with aging. Uh, so really, really cool that it decreased inflammation. The vagus nerve is anti-inflammatory as well. So in conclusion, for the first time, we've shown that age-related autonomic function, quality of life, mood and sleep changes may be improved with vagus nerve stimulation administered every day for two weeks. Importantly, the findings point to the influence of blah, blah, blah. Uh, so basically what they're saying is the worse that people were to begin with, the more uh, positive results they showed, which makes sense. You know, if you're a, uh, a, a two out of 10 10 being the best quality of life. If you're a 2 out of 10 and you jump to a 7, that's a huge jump. If you're a 7 and you jump to a 9, that's not as big of a jump. So the worse you are at the beginning, the more likely you are to improve from this. Um, tension, depression, anger, confusion, low energy, sleep were associated with greater improvement. So just really, really cool research coming out. Now, I am going to record a separate video on how to do this. We have a downloadable guide. We are now selling uh, TENS units in our office and teaching people how to do this. I've been playing around with it for a long time. And, you know, I've said in other videos, when my wife first, you know, is doing it for, for a couple weeks every night, she's like, what the heck are you doing? I want to try that. And she didn't know anything about it. And she said, what is this supposed to do? Because I feel like I'm melting into the couch. So, oh, that's awesome. So that's what it does is it pushes the brakes on your body's stress response. And doing that over time, even just for two weeks, like these studies are showing, doing it every day for two weeks can have pretty awesome results. So really cool stuff that we're really excited about, stimulating the auricular branch of the vagus nerve with a TENS unit that is inexpensive and easy.